Hello YouTube people, this is Big Brother Motown again, coming back to you with another Core Chronos video. And I'm doing this as a response to a young man by the name of Derek Kills, very talented uh, musician. He does a series of uh, videos on keyboards and different comparisons. And he recently, well not recently, but a few months ago, he did a video about the difference between the Core Chronos and the Mo DX as far as workflow and setting up uh, layers or combinations. And he said that the Mo was easier because the Chronos had a lot of steps to go through to get the sound right. And I'm sitting at my keyboard and I'm thinking there's gotta be a better way to do this and there is. So in his video, he suggests that you come straight from this page with the initialized combination. So let me, let me do a new initial cause uh, I was messing around with this one. So we're going to initialize a new combination. Okay, so we got a new initial combination. All of the channels are set to uh, Chronos Grand. And if you look in uh, Timber or Parameter, you'll see that they go sequentially from 01 General to 2 to 3 to 4 all the way up to 16. So in his original suggestion, he suggested that you select the sound from this page by going here and then selecting your sound and then it would come without the, the uh, effects and then you'd have to go and add the effects later. But my suggestion is that you don't do that. If you know you're gonna build a combination and you know you want the sounds to sound exactly the same as they do in program mode, then just skip all of that and go straight up here to the corner, to the drop down box and hit copy from program. Now, once you get this pop-up box here, and none of those were selected at first. Um, I was playing around with it, so that's how they got selected. Once you get here, you can select your program from here. So if you want, let's say, we'll hit the drop-down box. Let's say you want the, uh, the Jordan Rudis Japanese Grand. You can select that and hit OK. Then you can select which effects you want to come with it. So if I'm using uh, IFX, all internal effects used, um, and I can select my multi effects and my total effects to come over with it. And it also lets you select a timber. So let's say I want to put that sound on track Let's say I want to put it on track three instead of track two. I could put that on track three and hit OK. And what that does is it's saying all uh, source effects is all empty, which means that that particular sound has no, no effects on it. I'm assuming that's what it means. But what happens when you do that is now when you go to your effects page, it doesn't have any effects because... It doesn't have any on the source, but when you come to your timbre page, you'll see that three track three has been changed to GCH, which stands for general channel. So that means you can automatically play that with the other sounds and you don't have to come into this section the way Mr. Keels suggested and change each individual track after you've brought it over. It'll automatically do it when you do it that way. So let's get a sound now with some effects so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. We'll go back up here to the top. We'll hit copy from combinate or from program. We'll find another sound. Let's find something that's kind of got some nice effects. Okay. Um, let's go mega organ or oh, no preaching let's go preaching so we hit ok after we select preaching and then we can select the effects and we're going to put this on timbre too so now we hit ok now when we go to our insert effects page we can see that those effects are routed from from patch two 
up to there, we got a tape echo. And if we also go to master and total effects, those effects have come over too. We got overb and whatever total effect we have, if we would have had a total effect, that would have been there too, but there's no total effect on that patch. Also, now once we go back to the timber parameter page, notice that track two has also been changed to GCH automatically. I didn't have to come here and do it. It's just the method of selecting it that changed it automatically. So now when I come back and I get ready to play these sounds, I can play the piano, right? I can turn my organ down on two here and just get piano. I can turn my piano down and, and just get my organ. And on three, I have my uh, my other sound, my Jordan Rudis, which is up here, which sounds just like the, uh, the other one. Well, pretty much, it's a piano. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that there is an easier way to do it. You don't have to go through all of those convoluted steps in order to build a combination. All you have to do is initialize your combination, go straight to the box at the corner, boom, copy from program, and then select your sound from there instead of selecting it on the other page. Because if you select it on the other page, the effects are not going to come with it. You have to end up back at this page anyway. So select your sound from there, and then you can select which timbre you want it to go to from here. And when you do that, it automatically changes that timbre to GCH so that you can play it in combination with the other sounds. Much quicker way to do it, much easier. And I hope this helps somebody because Lord knows the Core Kronos is a frustrating enough piece of equipment without the hassle. So let's get into the gear. Let's uh, help each other out. Let's make it easier for one, you know, for one another. We're all uh, in this thing together, musicians trying to create. And um, like, comment, let me know if you have any suggestions. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Once again, this is Big Brother Motown, and I'm out.